and we're live. Welcome, ladies and gents. How you doing? Good morning. Good afternoon. You know the rest. All right. So we are here today to check out the Legion event part two. Deja's birthday, all that stuff. Hopefully, it's halfway decent. Last week was. Ah, uh, you could put it. It was kind of a disappointment. But, to be fair, the Legion stuff is pretty, uh, not great these days. Change my Twitch category. Yeah, it's been, <sighs> Legion stuff has been falling off for quite a while. Will it ever recover? Probably not. It's been overdone. <laughs> Like many things in the world of Adventure Quest. Mid chest part two coming in four hours. Four hours? Nah, it's probably about an hour. I would guess we're about an hour away till the actual update hits. If I had to give an estimate. To be honest, I thought it would be early today, but I don't know what they're doing for the actual event, but. I thought it might be a little early today. Yo, Shipper. Yo, thanks for being a member, Shipper. Appreciate that. Thanks all the members. Shout out the members. Really appreciate it. I changed some of the emotes up for some of the placeholder ones. I swapped them to different placeholders. Over time, I'll eventually get uh, original art for all that stuff, but... For now, we'll just... It is what it is. For those emotes. Thanks, Shiver, though. Much appreciate. They put too much effort on the Nolgath one. I mean, the Nolgath one was two months ago, right? Donate ACs to your subs. What? What are my thoughts on a LGBTQ colored flame? That is a mouthful, isn't it? They need to come up. I think they need a better acronym at this point. That one's getting too long. Um, I don't know. I think a rainbow flame look all right. I think some of the chat said that they've uh, they basically used all the colors for all the flames. <laughs> it's just kind of true. Like, I mean, they can still mix. Like at this point, they're mixing colors, right? You look at the flames in the game. They've kind of they've kind of done with all the single ones. Like, so you got like the celestial one. It's kind of green and blue. You got black, gray, blue, black, blue, black. Like they're kind of just mixing and matching colors now. Black, yellow, orange, red. That one's nice. Orangish, dark orange, and black. Like, you could describe two flames now, and people would think you're describing the same flame, even though there's two different ones, because they look so similar now. A lot of them. What is this? A flame that, like, changes colors would be cool, actually. Returning player after two years. I can't win against the ultra bosses. I've been doing it with randoms. <laughs> um, if you're struggling with randoms, you might want to join like a Discord and 
like an AQ world uh, related Discord and uh, go in there and be like, hey, does anyone want to help with ultras and <clears throat> communicate the, with them over Discord? And I think you probably have a much better uh, win rate percentage <laughs> doing that. Especially for stuff like ultra speaker, like you're not doing that in a pub is going to be. Interesting, to say the least. What you mean? Too much effort? Yeah, I don't know what that guy was typing about too much effort. I watched a... I saw a gold raven. Who started... He started making AQ Worlds content. Not that... Oh, what am I doing? Um... I, I saw... He said that they, they knocked the first week of art out of the park. I watched his review, like, I I wanted to see what he thought about it for the Take HS, so I watched his video. He said they knocked, I think I'm quoting directly the way he said they knocked it out of the park. Cold Raven has to be used to AQ3D standards or something, like, I, I don't, I don't... What's up, Steve? How you doing? That man has got to be... That guy has to, yeah, he has to be on some, uh, AQ3D, uh, <laughs> I don't know. That is definitely the minority opinion, I, I, from what I've seen. Opinions? What are those? Yeah, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion, of course, I'm not. But I, I disagree with Gold Ravens, so that's for sure. Yeah, it seems seems like you gotta you gotta be doing something real bad to be on Gold Raven's bad side though. I have a silly question. I understand the green lucky collad and paragon armor on the Lucky Day shop, but why the hell is Dark Void Knight and Monk? Wait, what? But why? I, I don't I don't your question is silly, man. I don't <laughs> I don't I don't get what you're asking. When server reset usually happen, it usually happens right about now. That's why I start my stream when I start it. I start my stream right around when these servers should be starting. It's weird, if you stream in the Fortnite category on Twitch, you get bots asking you to use their creator code, like their Fortnite creator code in the in Twitch chat, it's so weird. I had to ban like three people for that. <laughs> weird thing. I right, ban this guy. Yeah, it was the waiting room for now. Sometimes I'll start my stream and the event will already be out, but... Sometimes we gotta wait. Why use a bot's creator code? Use Corey X. True. My English is bad, sorry. On the Lucky Day Seasonal Event, the Leprechaun one, there's a freaking Nolgas styled armor there. And not a Lucky themed one. Why? Uh, I don't know, they just throw stuff, they throw stuff in wherever, man. That's probably the reasoning. They have items, they release them, they go wherever sometimes, sometimes... Things will feel really out of place because they just... Because they are. <laughs> and, you know, just is what it is. I should launch AQW for iPads. Put AQW on your iPad. They will. 300 years from now. Am I brainwashed by Artix Entertainment? Sure. 
I don't know what would uh, lead you to believe that, but... I am very, I'm very opinionated. Whether it's positive or negative towards the game. And I'm very open about sharing those opinions. It's a question, not a belief. I mean, why is that? I mean, if you were brainwashed, you wouldn't say it to someone else that you were brainwashed, would you? It's kind of a null question, isn't it? A brain that'd be a terrible brainwashing if you could, if you were allowed to tell people you were brainwashed while being brainwashed. That's some novice level brainwashing if I've ever seen it. They need to put some more points in the magic. I spot thanks hands. I don't know why my ban I, I clicked on that guy's username and it wouldn't let me ban him. Like it just like gave me a thing to block him for some reason. Like like a I don't know. And the block isn't I yeah, not the ban thing. It wouldn't give me the mod menu when I clicked on it for some reason. He said he was suspicious. So Filipino in your house. Oh, is there? There's probably a few, I would imagine. <laughs> the man spotted a Filipino. I bet you there's more than one. <laughs> Can you do a whole stream just typing in notepad and listening to Trance09? Hmm. That does sound like a good idea, actually. I wouldn't have to talk for the whole stream. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> it would be a f maybe. Maybe on April first. That's well. Sh uh, that I'm <laughs> doing lives. Uh. You know, to upload that video to get the quality to look that bad on the video, I had to like. I kept rendering out the video and then watching it just to make sure it looked bad enough. And then I'm like, ah, it doesn't look bad enough. Went back in, lowered the settings. So I'm like, all right, this will be still viewable, but not, it, it would have looked bad. And I'm like, nah, it still looks too good. <laughs> Re-render it, different settings. Nah, it still looks too good. I had to do that like four or five times before I actually got to look bad enough. <laughs> Gotta really replicate how bad YouTube used to look. How do I join your house? Slash house K O R E Y. What do I think about the new art style? Um, it's very hit or miss, is what I think about it. These days in AQ, you. Sometimes we'll have good items, and sometimes the items will look very off. It's very, very hit or miss. My own opinion, but I never true like the Oversoul style Miltonius brought. Miltonius style was hit or miss as well. I think most of the art that uh, the artist will put in the game is... I definitely didn't like everything Miltonius uh, made. A lot of this, a lot of this stuff... Uh... Like, I think Miltonius was very good at doing weapons. Those were probably my favorite, my favorite things that Miltonius did. A lot of times, the uh, the armor he made for, um, uh, for people, uh, the proportions were all odd looking and stuff. Like, yeah, it just didn't did not look great a lot of the time. He did good to heavy armor, but yeah, a lot of like his lighter armor stuff was very very weird looking. Did 
It's just so square. <laughs> yeah, like, you'd have, like, massive feet on some of the female armors and stuff. It just looked really weird. I think while Tony says, like, some of his best armor was, like, stuff that wasn't, like, his own style. It was uh, kind of, like, mixed with, like, what AQ is supposed to look like mixed with no Tony's stuff. If that makes any sense. I think that was some of his better better work. The final season two update. We sleep. I'm sleeping on the finals at this point, to be honest. I think the finals would be fun as like a if it like was an actual like arena deathmatch game and not. Um I don't like the game mode. I played it I played it, I quit I played it quite a bit trying to convince myself that I that I was having a good time playing the game. The game mode just isn't fun. The 3v3. Deliver a box and do a thing. And then protect it. Like it's it's just not. If it was like domination or TDM or kill confirmed on a, on a cool map with those abilities and stuff. I'd much rather prefer that. Or even like a payload mode would be fun. Like a move, a move an objective across a map mode would be fun. Against the other team. But yeah I don't. I don't really like the, the game mode they, they chose to be the main game mode in that game. It's not. Not to. Uh, oh, there is payload. There's 5v5 payload now. Oh. Okay. I, okay. I might actually try that then. I don't. I think I might uninstall it, but I might reinstall and try it then. Because, yeah, that 3v3 deliver the box game mode was pretty. You had to, like, run across. I don't know. There's a lot of things I didn't like about it. And it wasn't the gameplay itself, it was purely the, the game mode just was not enjoyable. Especially if you had two teammates that weren't uh, clued in on what, what should be doing, what they should be doing. And that happened often. How's my AQ running this smooth? Uh, CPU. I have a fast CPU. It's funny, I play Cyberpunk, and uh, the NVIDIA thing that like tells you how much how many frames you're getting, my CPU is at like 20%, my GPU is at 100. I have a very strong CPU. Actually, I probably should upgrade my GPU. Because <laughs> this is a little bit... I have a 13900. Yeah, AQ World says a software cap imposed by the Flash player. <laughs> I like how people think 8 FPS is smooth, but you can't go past 24. My CPU is a 3080. That's okay. Cool. Measure my strong CPU just run a flash game in 2024. Keck W. The CPU is like $500. Yeah, it's a very fast CPU. The first time I built a PC, uh, like that wasn't a pre-built one that I uh, like bought used. The first time I bought a brand new PC and built it, I put a AMD FX 8350 into it. Ever since then, I I very I I've, I'm hypersensitive to using a, a good CPU now. I'm. If I'm upgrading my PC, it's getting a it's getting a good CPU. <laughs> Using that was terrible. I haven't bought an AMD CPU since, even though they're pretty good now, and I probably will eventually, but that was uh Gonna 
going to watch Dune 2 in cinema and play Cory's stream at max on max volume. Yeah, people would not be able to hear my stream if you're watching Dune 2 in the theater. Yeah, they would not be able to hear my stream over how loud that movie is. I think I still have hearing damage. <laughs> no, Dune 2 is great though. I love it. 7800 X3 days to go right now? Yeah, that came out after I got my uh my CPU. I'll usually get a new CPU and then hold on to it for a couple of generations and then upgrade. I I had a 9900K before I had before I got my current one. And I'll probably wait quite a while before I get a new one. Probably like 17, 18 on the Intel side before I get a new one. They didn't have the popcorn buckets at my theater. <laughs> they didn't have the sandworm popcorn buckets. Remove your house menu, I can't see myself. Okay, sorry. Bomb theater? Yeah, I live in a small, really small city. There's one movie theater where I live. I don't even have a choice on where I go to see a movie, if I want to see it. From past experience, what time do you think today's update will be out? Well, it's 4.30, my time. And the updates normally come out around right now. So, probably give another half an hour at most. Half an, an hour at the most from now, I'd imagine. Could be longer though. It really depends. The, the longer we have to wait, it's usually the better the update. Like the more, uh, the more stuff they add in the update. It's that's very consistent with. The longer it takes for the update to come out, the more things will be in that update. So if you have to wait longer, it's usually better for the actual game. <laughs> so I don't really usually complain about having to wait. I mean, I complain of course, but. It's usually a good thing if you have to wait. Usually, not always. Sometimes it's really... Sometimes you wait a long time and there isn't very much. Last week... Last week we had to wait a little bit and there wasn't much in it. But... We'll see. Any news on AQ Infinity? Uh, news video went up yesterday, man. It's the most recent stuff we know about AQ Infinity. Yesterday's video. Not much, is what we know. Qmeister is multitasking, I see. You're on a 9700k? Yeah. I mean, that CPU is still decent. If you're not playing anything like super demanding, you'd be fine with it. Might be when like GTA 6 and stuff comes out on PC, then, then you might start feeling it. Actually, start getting some like next gen games. <laughs> do I think AA should focus more on getting more items converted to the new game or do combat and other new features later on? Wait, what? No, absolutely not. They need to make the base game as feature rich as possible before they start converting anything. Lucky for us, they're working on both at the same time. How old am I? Old. Don't get old, chat sucks. It's my YouTube chat being so buggy. I 
I'm being excited for AQ3D. Yeah, AQ3D was pretty exciting before it actually came out and we played it. So yeah, I remember that. It was pretty cool. There's a lot of hype around it within the community. Thirty-five is great. No, I'm not. I didn't say it was thirty-five. They should convert items based on when they released in the game. Uh, I don't think they really have a rhyme or reason for when. Or how they're converting items. I think they're just doing it. They said in the past that they uh, they might do a voting system for items to get converted, but it seems like they're just. Sending it. Doesn't really seem like there's a... A method to it. From what we've seen so far. I like those weapons, but... I need space. Might as well do this now before the actual update comes out. I thought about uh, picking up the Dragon's Dogma, the first game, and streaming that. Thoughts? Since the second one's coming out. That'd be fun. I've never played it, so. <laughs> apparently, the, I saw on Twitter, apparently it was the part of the game that, like, uh... I realize now this is, this is the Dune outfit, right? <laughs> I didn't get that reference. Now I've seen the Dune movies, and... The Umbra class is very much that that sand outfit, Dune. Did I ever play Free Realms? Is that the game with like the um, like cartoon, uh, like animal on the cover of it? I think I played that. Games on sale too, yeah. Yeah, we'll probably I'll probably uh might do a stream, we'll see. I've always heard good things about Dragon's Dogma, but I've never played it. Kinda of feeling like playing an RPG. Modded Skyrim. No thanks. I bought Shadow Side as general and kind of regret it. That's yeah, not a great class. It's my number one action RPG. Your number one action RPG? Really?
Portal 2 is 82 cents. I always bet those Valve games are so cheap on Steam because Valve doesn't have to uh, take a cut. Right? Because they own the platform. So they get all the money. If you spend 82 cents, they get 82 cents. Another dev charges 82 cents for their game and they get like 6... No, they get like, what, 50 cents or something? Not less. I think it depends on the rev share percent. They can be different now, I think, on Steam. Depending on how much you've sold. Never play Portal though, that's definitely worth the uh, the 80 cents. This is music. Hey, I was listening to that. God, I, it was annoying me. <laughs> A marching band playing or something. Cryomancer. That's a, that's that's a class I haven't heard about in a while. Someone's in their hidden room. My hidden room? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't have a hidden room. Chat, who told him about the hidden room? Must be a secret. You ever played Elden Ring? If so, play the DLC. <laughs> When's that coming out? No, I haven't played Elden Ring. Oh wow, we almost have 40 open slots in our inventory. Think of all the items we could store. 40 slots. Server shutting down. Yo, let's go. Six minutes. What happened to the Paragon play? They're supposed to come back in March. Yeah, wasn't there a Dage armor or something that they put out in like December that was supposed to come back for Dage's birthday? Maybe that's coming out this week. Preparing for disappointment. Yeah, get prepared. Get ready. It's about to get heavy. We have a Hollowborn Paragon. Is that was not supposed to come back? I hope it does. Yeah, thanks for everyone that likes the stream on YouTube. Helps it out. Five minutes. So we can see what's new. What's new in the game. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Save your 2 kc for Nolgath birthday pet. What? Save your AC for Nolgath birthday pet? Next year? Is that what you're saying? Is it all gas stuff out of the game? It is, right? Seasonal? Yeah, Light Cash is one of the better classes you could buy. Even though it does require farming. Just based on the fact that you can't get it any other way, too, is one of the reasons you'd want to get it. Paid only, right? Spending ACs on a class you can also farm. You might regret that at some point. It's a paid only class, then the likelihood of you having second second uh guessing second guessing it. Oh, I could have farmed that, why did I waste my ACs? Keep in mind with Light Castro, you gotta do some farming after you spend the ACs too. It requires some amount of farming afterwards. Just so that doesn't blindside you. Update out, three minutes. Got the countdown. It's the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Event's coming. It's Luffy. Trudy, you gotta get to processing these tax returns. <laughs> Need that refund. So you can buy a PlayStation Pro or whatever that new console just got leaked today. If I have to sell my PS5 to get a P PlayStation Pro, I'm going to be sad. Like if GTA runs like absolute garbage on the PS5, I'm going to be really sad. At that point, they, they really need to just put it out on PC. How many years has the Switch 2 been leaked? Uh, yeah, but Moore's Law is dead leaked the uh, the PlayStation specs and that guy doesn't uh, That guy won't put out information unless it's like rock solid All the all the switch leaks people do that just for clicks like constantly The switch there's been switch rumors since like the this like the first or second year the the original switch came out in 2017 like there been, there's been like a switch to switch pro switch whatever rumors since like almost immediately after the original one came out for some reason for some reason well we know well, clicks and all that but Hunter bag slots, making the best I can, and Corey suffering with 450. Yep. I mean, I have to pick up all the items for videos and stuff. If you don't pick up every item from every release like I do, then you could probably make do with a lot less. Just 
very, very annoying inventory management simulator. Alright, new update. Alright, I'm gonna record the video for you too. For the people that don't tune into the stream. So, do that. Hey, what's going on? Let's check out the 10k chests live on the stream. So, you see the chat on the screen, all that. And I might chat with chat at some point. But hey, let's check out the. Dark Birthday Raiders week two. Uh, as far as we know, they're not doing a third week for this. Although they might announce that right now. I haven't checked the sign-ups or anything tonight yet. So, server just, just restarted. Let's see what they added to the 10k. Uh, yeah, there's definitely more stuff in here because we couldn't scroll last week. Alright, let's start with armors. Let's see what we got new in the 10k. I think that was there last week. Same with that. Same with that. That's new, I think. Kind of like the lion outfit legion version of that. Got two variants of that as well, of course. Got to pad it out. Was Titan, Titan was there last week, I think. Raven's Fury. I don't know if that's new, but hard to skip on from me on that one. This one's new. It's pretty cool. I don't really like the gray color, but. Male and female variants look very similar. I like the idea behind it. And you got one without the uh, the ghost spirit thing on it as well. It's cheaper too, if you don't want that. All right, so that's all the armors. Uh, Yeah, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, let's see about weapons. Oh, that one's not too bad looking. That wasn't there last week, I'm pretty sure. I don't like the fire animation. I actually think this sort of looked better without the animation behind it, without the flame. It's alright. Little bird on there. My sword should be a version of this with the like spirit stuff on it as well to go with the cool sword uh, to go with the armor that we're wearing. Hope there is. I hope. Yeah, pretty sick sword. I love. I love how it merges with the armor. That's just really good set making. By that artist, that's very nice. Definitely a cool little combo you got going there. So you got dual, the raven sword things. Sword and shield. It's got like the, um, it's a Roman helmet, like a uh, sort of look to it as well. So that's pretty cool. A whip, whip with the sword offhand. Duels of these underworlds. These aren't too bad. They probably don't look the best because my blue house background. These are nice. I might. These might be a pickup. I don't think a lot of things are. A lot of things are not a pickup of this chest. These. Underworld the Wraith Fires. These very much I can see picking those up out of the out of this chest. I gotta say though, this is definitely a take the single items out ordeal for me. There's like I don't think there's a single armor I want out of out of here. Maybe I'm just not into the Dage theme, man. Like None of these are really appealing to me. There's definitely some really good Dage items. Like one of my favorite swords, period, in the game. <laughs> Is that CC, the blue? 
I should be kind of cool if it was CC. Uh, it's probably not though. Like one of my favorite swords, period, is Legion themed. Undead Edge of Z. But yeah, this stuff is not me. Which for whatever reason is not really appealing to me. This is really cool. I don't think I'd ever equip it though, but it is cool. You can click on it to move it. Oh, and it's very large. Holy. That is a very big gate. <laughs> Jesus. That might actually be a pickup. That is kind of cool. How much is it? Four hundo? Too bad, I guess. Lots of capes here, at least. <laughs> uh, this, for some reason, this reminds me of It's Always Sunny. There's like a, there's an episode where they do a play. I think there's a guy within a lion costume. It looks like a guy in a lion costume. <laughs> okay. That one caught me off guard a little bit. These are nice. I like the blue. The gradients. Looks good on the. Looks pretty good on these, to be honest. I'm not. I'm not all about the fur up up top, but the actual wingspan itself is pretty good there. Yeah, these might be a pickup. Oh, these are free. I'll buy those. I like that price. That's a that's a good deal. Underworld? 500, that's from last week, but... Oh, that's not bad, Cape. No, I guess one too. Oh, what a great deal. Some of my favorite items are available for gold. <laughs> Quest Pet. What? Is there is that an actual quest pet? I have my pets turn off. Oh, okay, it gives me a mural. Okay, well. It's a cool house item. Is it always moving? If it's always moving too, that's that is actually a really cool house item. I, I might pick that up just for the house item. That actually is pretty sick. Yeah, so it looks like you just need one Makai, and then you get the house item for 100% drop, so. I guess they're selling, like, a rare quest item slash little skull pet, so that might be worth picking up. That's kind of cool. I might actually buy that, but that might be the only one of the only things I buy out of the whole, whole shebang here. That's uh, kind of sad, but hey, that's, that's the uh, Legion 10k chest we got this year. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Kind of disappointing. In my opinion, hopefully the next one they do is better. Hopefully we get some nice uh, St. Patrick's Day items and stuff coming up here. St. Patrick's Day is on Sunday, so maybe they'll do a little tiny uh, item drop thing on Sunday for that. But yeah, this chest is uh, not very appealing, I'll say, to me. So let me know what you think, though. Pick up anything on this chest, let me know down in the comments. Bye-bye. All right, stopped recording. There's a third week update? I don't, is there? Design notes, let's open these bad boys up. Is there a third week? Uh, Don't think they've updated the sign notes yet. Oh yeah, they have.
let me capture them there. Oh no, it's from the 8th. Is that today? <laughs> no, today's the 15th. Okay, okay, I thought this was... All that Raven stuff's from last week. Oh. Oh, it was new. Okay. I forgot, I forgot what it was last week. But so they really didn't add much this week, huh? Oops. Whatever. I mean, I guess I'm just looking at it in general anyway. The Raven stuff is new. I think they were teasing it. Oh, yes. Yeah, it it's available the 15th. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay, good. Whew. Whew. Okay, that was, that was tripping on that. All right. Wait, you have to wait until the 22nd for Hollowborn Paragon to come back? That is wild. <laughs> Didn't Hollowborn Paragon set already release? <laughs> Question mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait, so this is. Okay. Is there an act there's an actual in-game event we can play, right? Where is Lord Dage? He just left. Where? Don't know. Don't care. My guy, I also don't know and don't care. <laughs> Want me to salute? Or can we hurry to the part where you clean up Deja's mess? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing really happened last week. And nothing happened in that cutscene either, so good. Uh, yapping. Uh, bone clay grafted ribs. I can acquire that for you. Get some of that in here. Bone clay was in the first room. Before you look at the screen, go to sleep. Good morning. What? Austin Welsh became a member. Yo, Austin, yo, thanks for being a member on the YouTube. Much appreciated, man. No battle pet like I saw on Twitter. Yeah, like where where was the blood cage? Thanks, man. Thank you. I think these are auto reups, but much appreciate if you guys are watching the vods or anything. Good morning. Oli. Oli Bigland became a member. Thanks, Oli. All right. Light up ice cube, glowing ice. Bangable girl became a member. <laughs> Fucking username. Am I feeling hungry for pizza? I don't think there's ever a time where I say no, no, thank you. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need it. Uh, you keep your pizza. You I mean, there has actually been times where I've had too much pizza. 
Like, I had pizza, like, three days in a row for some reason. I, who knows why, but... Probably because I bought, like, two large pizzas for myself and... <laughs> ate only that for, like, a couple of days. But, anyway, um... Uh, you give it, like, one day and then you're back to, like, Yeah, I'll take some pizza. Golden Evocator Stone Keter Evocator Evocator Dizzy word. I'm sure it's a real word. They didn't make that up. We're ordering five pieces. What's your address? <laughs> It used to be a thing on Twitch where people, um, like streamers had, um, like this app thing where the viewers could order food to the streamer's house. That used to be a- th that was a thing like a long time ago on Twitch. You can probably guess why you, you don't see that anymore. I got Archivage class, what's the best forge for it? Here's what I use. So. Where, where, where do we get, where are we getting these stones from? Oh, these guys? It's gotta be these guys, right? Yeah. Hey, thanks for following the Twitch. Crabs and cheese. That doesn't sound good to me. Cheese on seafood does not sound like a good combo for me for some reason. I don't. Although, I haven't had crab in a long time. I can go for some. What do I think we need more at level uh, 120? No, they need to leave the level cap at 100. Crabs or carbs? I can go for either. I just ate your reinforcer stream. I'm not even hungry. Why are we talking about food? Chad, are you hungry? Why are you talking about food? Talk and Paladin Sash. Oh, you're a Paladin. You got a Sash? You do. The new merge from the event is actually nice. That's good. What's up, Blue Moon? How lucky can one guy be? Like a fellow once said, that's not the Blue Moon song. Uh, wait, where's the guy we gotta talk to? Is it you? No, you're Rand. Can't proceed further into the barracks. Corey, I haven't played AQW a bit. Can you explain the current lore? <laughs> Someone asked, someone asked about that on, um, on Reddit the other day, and someone said, like, I, it, they're like, uh, the only source for anyone that knows anything about the lore is, like, a Brazilian YouTube channel. There's apparently a Brazilian YouTube channel that is, like, a lore keeper guy, and that's it. Where the hell is the guy I gotta talk to? So I think you gotta learn Portuguese and watch that YouTube channel and you'll be good. Get all caught up on your lore. 
Because I don't think anyone else is paying any attention. <laughs> Oh, a cutscene. Guy's casting some healing magic. He's gonna revive these guys here. Once he loads up his Kamehame. Oh, he failed. He's a terrible paladin. Talk to Blonde, uh, Locator Catalyst, Knight's Tooth. Corey Cat with a tank versus helicopter, who would win? I think the cat with a tank beats the cat with a helicopter because the cat with a helicopter just crashes the helicopter and loses by default the cat with a tank at least well if they're starting in the air if the tank is free falling and the helicopter is already flying the the cat with the helicopter might win or win for a couple of seconds before it also hits the ground but if they're starting on the ground, I, th I think the cat just destroys the helicopter immediately by itself, and the other cat wins by default, right? Night tooth. I'm not aware of any felines with aviation abilities, but, you know. I did- I think I saw a video of a dog flying a plane. I think planes are a lot easier to fly than helicopters. The SWAT cat exists. You know how to catch up with the lore? Watch every Cory stream since you left. Yeah, watch the full VODs. Bad say catch up the lore. Okay, where is- oh, Now we got another guy to talk to. Oh, there you go. My Adventure Quest Worlds live streams are the number one destination for AQ Worlds lore analysis. Golden Marrow and Radiating Catalyst. Uh, the Overdriven Knights and Evokers. Okay. What's up here? Nothing. In here? Also nothing. Okay. And in here? Oh, is that? Yo, there's actually room. You forgot? The cats have nine lives. Did I forget? You forgot that they can deplete all nine of them at once. You ever thought about that? Like if you're in a situation where, where it's going to kill you. It would kill you more than once. Wouldn't it? Uh, tear soaked ash. It's not like you get invincibility frames. Serving the Legion. B -b 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 Hello, I need 
need your ash. <laughs> the areas are blocked since I'm not level 75. That's, uh... Yeah. The lowest level of Adventure Quest Worlds players in my chat right now. Cerberus call- I'm joking. Um... Hello, I need your callers. Gatekeeping. <laughs> we got a trade system, I'll scam you in trade. Thanks for the heads up, man. Best way to scam people is to let you know, let them know what your intentions are. You learned that first day in scammer school. Hallborn Paragon is coming out next week. I died. I guess the uh, Arc Archmage is not not the one for that fight. Nobody got the end of the release yet. Am I actually speedrunning? No one else was in there. Usually there's people farming the boss by the time I get there. Can't wait for the game to be 60 FPS. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil something. It's not gonna make the game any better. The 60 FPS part. It'll feel better. That's not gonna make the game any better. Now, they could add other things to, to it that will actually make it better, but that is to be seen. But 60 FPS alone is not going to be carrying it. It's got a cool armor. Oh damn, he bubbled. Dage! There are two types of betrayers. The power hungry that stab my back. <laughs> and those like you. Who react when I betray... When I betray your expectations. I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm honestly surprised this game is still around. What's up? Source of the river, Archon. It's a simmering. Blinding light. Yeah, game still gets update all the time, man. Yeah, once a week. Every Friday. Right now, we're playing the new update for this week. What do we do to stop it? We won't stop it. 
the method was correct. I just need to adjust the lighting. <laughs> Whoa, that feels way better, Dage. No way. This is your light. Of course not. We're lucky that the Empress is willing to lend me hers. You're, you are. I forgive you. I can't forgive you. But it isn't too late to earn the right to forgive yourself. Is he dying? Uh, for the rest of your unlife, for the rest of eternity. Lore must belong to the living, and the underworld must belong to the dead. Are their souls saved? Is it really possible? They're pieced together, but will fall apart if you leave the rivers of the underworld. But the Paladin Order was done to their own, is isn't so easily reversed. They'll have to stay in limbo until a permanent solution is found. At least they aren't completely erased. I know other cases that weren't so lucky. Destruction clears the way for creation. Death neuters the birth of new life. <laughs> We're just standing in the water. The Paladin Order could. Uh, if the Paladin Order continues. The Paladin Order continue on this path. Could lead to an apocalyptic cataclysm. Empty underworld waiting for Lord to crumble in on itself. Uh, Dage, you see anything out there? No. No one at all. I'm merely talking aloud. <gasps> Zeta! You know what? I don't see anyone either. Ada, you're exhausted. Learn much, yes? It's always next time. When did you begin to lose your spark? Rise, General. Why am I narrating all this? Uh, just as I've proved that I am worthy of your loyalty, prove that you will live up to your oath. I have to try it out again. Yeah, you could always log in with the account you had in 09, <laughs> if you remember the password. Uh, Lord Dage, my deepest apologies for keeping my discontent to myself. For derailing your attempts to make a better impression on the court. Oh, ha ha. I got chew, chew. I wasn't laugh, some dust flew in my nose. You're both testing my patience. My lord, you asked me to be frank. The other legionaries will not be so easily convinced. Many are furious that the legion has diverted from its original aim to conquer lore. There are those who thirst for blood, and those like Lakin and myself couldn't reconcile our past, this new future without intervention. I'll do all my power to keep the Legion in line. The rest falls to you. It's a lot of work to do. And it's not even including what's to be done about Miss Ada. Why is Deja Twink? Yeah, I don't I don't know why he's wearing this armor. Like, apparently this is like his, like, apparently he has, like, a bigger suit, like, his normal suit of armor is, like, a, like, an extra, like, it's an extra layer on top of this one, apparently. And this is, like, his skin or something, like, he's, like, Adam Smasher or some shit. That's news to me. They're just making up new stuff. Was it wise to let her go? They left quietly, and it Age's call. I wouldn't jump in until you ask for another favor. Thoughts on this? I escorted Arungdite safely back to the surface. He's an independent paladin, but well known as a healer. Ada was the one who convinced him to work with Malignant in the first place. I don't think she did that entirely to take revenge on the Legion. She wanted to heal the people's harm by the Paladin's Order experiment. 
I'm not saying she isn't dangerous, depending on what your intentions are. There's hope. Come what may, your generals stand with you, Lord Dage. Destruction, birth, creation, death, nurtures new life. Lord Dage will rule over this cycle. Long unlive the Legion. Hey, remember what I was supposed to get out of this. Herberus is waiting for his Mino boat. Throws Aegis and whatever that is, and while you're at it, Grr, heads gets jealous of each other. Only feed one. Cool. Then he drops. So, Bangwell, how you doing? Pretty much every enemy has drops. Oh yeah, holy, we already got a bunch. <laughs> what? Some of that lay set, some new stuff. Whatever that is. It's kinda cool. Where do we get all these from? Jesus. Is there a boss here? Why do these guys fight? Oh, this guy? Yeah, this guy probably has drops. JG. JG is being weird, you guys. Oh. Got him. Thank you. Mid merge. Eh. <laughs> the liberals done twinkified Dage. These darn liberals. Twinkifying my undead Legion ruler. How dare they? Yeah, I don't know where any of these drops came from, so I guess we just pick them up and. I do my video on the drops off to go look up all the uh, separate mobs and see what which are from which. First, my taxes. Now my 2010 bulky armors. What are they coming for next? You never know. Never know what Biden's coming for next, huh? Isn't it an election season soon in the United States? That's always interesting. That is always an interesting thing. Isn't that coming up? Yeah. That is always a completely normal interaction between human beings. A 
they're gonna have another competition to see who the oldest person they can get elected in the history of the United States is. Still going for that? Are they still working on that Guinness Book of World Records this year? Surprised they can't elect dead people at this point. They didn't put the Holborn set in this week? No, that's uh that'll be next week. Does AQ lore go into taxation lore? <laughs> um I think it's probably been mentioned at some point, but I think taxes ex exist to some extent within the universe, but I don't think that's ever been. Cause like there's like a bank vault in the castle, right? I mean, they gotta be collecting, right? How, how they how they paying for all that stuff if they're not collecting taxes? The piggy tax collector, yeah. Zorbak hates the IRS. Yeah, I think that is canon that Zorbak hates the IRS. Oh, we got two. Free drop. Cape and a helmet. The boss here. Tax is canon. <laughs> yes. I'd vote for for wants to give the corporation rights. Yeah, I'll vote whoever whoever wants to uh, push us closer to the dystopian cyberpunk future. That's uh, that's who I'm voting for. Closer that whoever makes the planet worse, that's who I want elected. That's my, I'm a one issue voter. <laughs> Who's gonna fuck it up more? No, I'm Canadian. We don't, we don't really have a government here. It's just a bunch of yahoos. So tax evasion is also canon. Yeah, I don't think my character has ever paid their taxes. So I think uh, I think our character is tax evading. But who's gonna come collect? <laughs> who's, who's gonna Who's gonna come collect? Huh? Are they gonna do lock us up? I don't care who the AQW IRS sends. I'm not paying my taxes. <laughs> Elena themselves coming to your house. Maybe the taxes are all the ACs we spend, we buy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a player tax. Is there anything new to farm these days? Last thing I remember farming was Chaos Avenger. Yeah, there's been a few, a couple classes added since then. Like two. <laughs> Chaos Avenger didn't come out that long ago. Uh, yeah, every October a new class comes out, so I'll have a couple, like Archmage and all that. Is that property tax AQ? Property tax is actual theft. Let me... Dead game. Dead game. I love that. Doesn't matter what game you're playing. As long as it's an online game. So, or actually, I've seen it for single player games before. Pe people are so crazy these days. They'll, they'll see you playing a single player game and they'll say, dead game. 
Well, you're playing Oblivion. Didn't that game come out in 2004? Dead game. Are you playing Quake? Dead game. If Fortnite dips under like 12 million concurrent players, people will say, Dead game. Dead game. Skip, skip dead now. <laughs> Yesterday it had 13 million players. Now it only has 12. Dead game. Dead game. <laughs> Give me taxation in my fantasy RPG, thanks. I actually played on a Minecraft server where you had like an economy where you like earn money and stuff. And then the server had taxes. And like a bank where you could earn interest and stuff if you like, like it actually had like, it, I think the server owners were actually trying to like build a functioning economy. But it, it was really, it was really broken. It was fun though. Cause uh, someone had to collect the taxes and if you killed the guy that was collecting the taxes, like, uh, there was a faction on the server that would collect the taxes, and if you, um, if you, like, raided them and took the tax, the tax collection, uh, item that they had, you, your faction would start collecting the taxes. So, there was, like, a constant war over it. And every item you bought from, like, the in-game, um, not the, in like, the, um, like, if you want to, like, buy resources in the shop and stuff with the, uh, with the money you're earning on the server, uh, it all got taxed. It's an interesting concept, actually. An online game. They should implement that system IRL. I mean, you could do that IRL. If you want to start collecting taxes, they do that in third world countries all the time, don't they? Well, not all the time, but you know, up, up, uh, they overthrow the government all the time. <laughs> that shit happens. Habo will be dead even with 50k. But people. Habo will tell that people still play that. Yeah, I imagine they do actually. Why not? I haven't seen anything about Habo in a while. You know what sucks about Club Penguin? Is that the devs that were working on Club Penguin wanted to buy the rights from Disney and Disney wouldn't sell, uh, wouldn't sell them to them. I saw that recently on Twitter. So now instead you just have all those like cancerous third party uh like community ran servers for Club Penguin. There's no official one anymore. Disney created Club Penguin? Yeah. One of Artix Entertainment's main competitors. Back when AQ Worlds was popular, was Disney. At one point in time, this video game that you're watching right now was competing directly against D Disney. The day's chest is underwhelming AF. I agree. So AKW beat Club Penguin. And yeah, it did. It managed to last longer than Club Penguin. Yeah, it lost to RuneScape though, big time. Look at RuneScape's numbers.
So that's why there hasn't been an AKW slash Mickey crossover. I don't think AE's really done any... Oh no, they've... AE's actually done some crossovers like real life bands, right? Breaking Benjamin and stuff, but that's about it I can think of. They haven't done a lot of like IRL crossovers. Like IPs. Like some individual people now and then. But not a lot of IP. Would I write the chest? Really low. AKW X Fortnite. If you you could put Arctic Entertainment stuff into Fortnite, and vice versa, it would it actually it wouldn't really be that that bad either way to be honest. You have like Arx's Paladin Axe as like a pickaxe in Fortnite, and you could put the, you could put Fortnite skins in this game easily. Alice in Chains, they might be giants when I doll there. Yeah, they've done some crossovers. Well, all band crossovers. I think Fortnite lore is equally as messy as AQ. Fortnite lore is a little bit easier to follow. And I, I don't know much about Fortnite lore, but... It's a bit easier to follow, at least. Slightly. At least when you're playing Fortnite, you have like a, a semi idea of what's going on most of the time <laughs> in AQ worlds. It's hard to tell what planet you're on in this game so half the time. They more dances in game. I agree. If this game had more emotes, it'd actually be sick. Every crossover has a Fortnite lore explanation. It used to, but not anymore. Fortnite. They used to do that. But... I don't think they, I do not think they do that at all anymore. Maybe select, maybe for some of them. What if the pet they showed on Twitter will be added later? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that pet wasn't in the 10k chest. Wasn't it announced that it was going to be in the chest? I wonder why it, it wasn't put there. Pay for gore. Fortnite emotes with a hundred percent revive AQW PvP. I don't know about revive, but it would definitely make it more interesting. Is Eminem canon in Fortnite lore? I think he is, right? He was in that one event they did. I think Eminem is very canon to Fortnite lore now, <laughs> since he was in one of the uh, big events they did. Chess is defo with 3 out of 10. Yeah, 3 out of 10 is about where I put it. He rapped against Goku. It's still crazy to me that there's so, so many different IPs in Fortnite, like the amount of different characters and shit you'll see in a single match is just insane. <laughs> it's just insane. It's insane that they pulled that off.
Did I know that Eminem is so powerful that he can rhyme orange with banana? Yeah, he's got he's got max rhyming ability. That's an awfully hot coffee butt. Yeah, they're not doing week three for the chest, right? That wasn't announced anywhere. Doing a two week, two weeker. Which is fair enough, I guess. Uh, no, you should do yourself, Edge. Does not does not seem to be hitting for me this this year. I'm just not into it. I don't know. Like, I could not care about the Legion stuff any less. Like, it's just... It all looks really bland to me. A tweaker chest? A tweaker? A two-a-weaker? Tweaker? Eminem versus a real frog zard. Real frog star, please stand up. Epic will do anything on a loss while taking out debt to gain attention. It's a business strategy. I don't think they're taking on debt. I mean, they might be, but not as much as you might think they are. Their revenue was insane when they were peaking, right? Like they were doing, they were doing, weren't they doing billions in profit? Didn't they record like 3 billion in revenue with like 1 point something in profit for one of those years? That is insane. That much revenue is crazy. For a video game. The Epic probably lose money on their uh, store, but I don't think they lose money on Fortnite. Because they, they sell, like, Fortnite puts out skins and stuff. Like, if they put it, like, if a new crossover happens in Fortnite and all of a sudden, like, uh, I, trying to name a character that isn't Fortnite is hard, but, um, um, Okay, yeah, this is actually be a cool one. So imagine the a Nintendo crossover happens and you have Link from Zelda and Mario and stuff, and those are characters are selling in the item shop all of a sudden, right? Epic Games makes like a hundred like a lot like tens of millions off that probably, if not more. E like easily. Rumor is that they were going to do that, like Epic contacted Nintendo and wants like some of the characters in the game, but Nintendo wanted them to only be on the Switch. <laughs> it's just <laughs> such a Nintendo thing. <laughs> it's such a stupid Nintendo thing to say. Like, yes, yes, Epic Games, you can use our characters in your game, but they can only appear on our console. Soul Calibur. Yeah, that's happened before in Nintendo for other games, right? Like, um... Like, uh, there's a Zelda costume, a Link costume in Skyrim, if you buy Skyrim on the Switch. So, Zelda is canon for the Elder Scrolls. But only on the Switch.
No, Nintendo doesn't care if uh, Mario is shooting people. I guarantee you they don't. He wouldn't be in Smash Brothers if that was the case. Yeah, but if they were going to do a Nintendo crossover, they wouldn't use Mario as a character. You'd probably have Samus. Uh, you'd have Link. And probably... I don't know who else you'd have, but... It would not... Uh, I don't think Mario would be one of the characters they would use. Oh yeah, Zero Suit Samus would sell crazy. Waluigi! <laughs> you definitely have to have Waluigi. Can't forget about Walu Waluigi. Alright, uh, let's go to a different room and see what else we can get. Drops here. Now, it's the 2000. Nintendo would totally have Mario with a gun. <laughs> I think they still let Mario be a Nintendo character. I think they still have him as a Fortnite character, I don't think. Like, it's not the same as, like, putting him in Call of Duty. I, I don't think they'd put Mario in Call of Duty. I think I think most IPs are really, like, uh, all right with the, the Fortnite levels of violence. There's apparently going to be a Final Fantasy crossover in Fortnite very soon, if you're looking for Tifa. That game, that's apparently going to be happening. Huge chest. Okay, buddy. I mean, they did make a uh, Chun Li pretty, uh, pretty accurate. So, I wonder what they're. <laughs> they are pretty good about making them like not terrible recreations. I think they are the other new drops from the these guys. From the element, these guys, right? The overdriven guys. They took Snake's bakery away. I think they were modeling Snake off of the... Uh, there's a Snake model... From Smash Brothers or something? That he's very flat? Like, I think they took the... I think they uh, took inspiration from, like, a variant of him that was... Very flat. They probably should have took it more directly from the game, so. Like, wasn't the Smash Brothers one? Like that? <laughs> you ever see that picture on uh, Twitter? I don't know if it's actually real or not with the, um, with the Wario from Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo nerfed his ass. It's just hilarious. <laughs> Is the event worth it in your opinion? No. Uh, 
Oh, we got drop. Hey, thanks for following. Oh, we got another one. Okay, so there are drops from these guys. Lag? Uh, upload looks fine. Shouldn't be lagging. MGS3 snake is just thick because tessellation rounds polys outwards, not inwards. Like Tomb Raider 3 through, through 6, Laura Croft. The best Laura Croft is like the one from, uh, what's it, Underworld? There's definitely there's definitely a good version of Laura Croft in 3 through 6. Membership exclusive drops in this economy? Yeah, man, ain't nobody equipping that. <laughs> we need Senator Armstrong and Fortnite. Yo, that actually looks pretty sick. What? Yo. That might be the nicest item added this update. Oh yeah, Raiden from Metal uh, MGR would be, yes. That is such a cool character design. Is it CCable? No, it's probably yellow. Like the art from the mob. <laughs> Twin created instead. Yeah. Hollowborn Collad? Not this week. Uh, next week, I think. Have they posted anything about doing week three for the chest or what's happening this week? I haven't really looked, but. Hey, Corey, what farm would you recommend doing? Get a 50% damage boost weapon if you don't have one. Would it be my recommend? Lord of Order if you don't have it. Arch Pal if you don't have it. Only class currently is VHL. Your only class is VHL. That's insane. That's why when I do it, when a new class comes out or gets buffed, I always compare it to VHL because I feel like everyone in this game has VHL for some reason. Like, I feel like that's like the benchmark class to go up against. Racist Paragon? Uh, Parrot is seasonal, right? Uh, yeah, the Racist Parrot comes out every uh, September. So you got to wait, wait, wait a while for it. Now you definitely need more classes than just the VHL. One can one cannot live off VHL alone.
If you have VHL and you don't have a good multi-target class, you should probably go for that. Should probably be going for a Legion Rev or Archmage or something like that. Depending on how much you want to farm. These multi-target one. Dragon Time, yeah, Dragon Time might be the, the actual best one to go for out of that. Because, I don't know. Isn't Dragon of Time kind of hard to get these days, too? Okay, we got five on this one. We haven't got anything else. So I'm going to say that's it for that. What would be the good, what would be the best, like, first go-to farming class? Like, if you don't want to do, like, a crazy amount of farming. Blaze? No, not Blaze. Blaze is trash. Shaman. I go for a Shaman over Blaze. I used Blaze Binder recently. My class felt terrible. Maybe I'm just so used to like Archmage now. <laughs> every class, every every class feels so terrible that isn't Archmage for multi-target. It's just like night and day. Yeah, maybe with with a perspective of not using Archmage, uh, Blaze is good, but. Is there a difference between Evolved and Normal Shaman? Yes, the Normal one is better. Evolved might as well not exist in the game. Yeah, Master Ranger is a good uh, farming class to pick up early. I agree. Really easy to get now, too. Definitely want to upgrade off Master Ranger though. Yeah, Arch Archfiend's good, yeah. Arch you might want to go Master Ranger into Archfiend and then use Archfiend to go to one of the top tier ones. Whether that's Archmage or Legion Rev or whatever. That might be the uh the play there. If you guys got any cool drops that I you, that I didn't get, chat? Anyone watching? I farmed the boss for quite some time, so I think I got most stuff off him. I farmed those yellow guys for a little bit. I think that might be everything from the event. Let's get back after years. Tested almost every farming class, so not new ones. Abyssal Angel for fast multi-target. Yeah, Abyssal Angel is still like decent for what it is, to be honest. But it's paid only and uh, only available in November, so it's hard to recommend that one, right? I would definitely recommend Abyssal Angel if you're starting out, if you um, don't have anything better. But it's not great for past beginner class now. It's very much like a starter class now, even though it's seasonal and costs money. What about Shadow Scythe? General. Uh, Shadow Scythe General is okay because it hits four targets, right? But DPS and stuff is abysmal in that class, so... Not great, but... Good. All right. Better than other classes. I don't know what other classes, but six, not four. Well, four, six. I don't. I guess it does matter if you're XP farming. But yeah, still. 
hits a lot of targets, so that's like the only good part about it, basically. Is it hits a lot of things. Pass that, it's not really that great. It's the hardest chrono to master and use. Don't know. Don't have an answer for that. I haven't used them all. The thing is, though, you don't want to be using the hardest class to use in the game. You want to be using the most efficient. Efficiency is key when it comes to grinding. The difficulty of the class doesn't matter at all. A difficult to use class would have to be head and shoulders light years ahead of other classes for it to be an actual viable for you to be using it all the time. And that just isn't the case for most things in this game. Got your calendar? I didn't order a calendar. A didn't give me a code and I didn't order one, so... And I heard the class is kind of bad. I've not seen anyone using the new gunslinger class, even though it sounds like a cool, I, uh, it sounds like a cool class idea and concept, but I've never seen a person using it. So it seems like kind of a miss. Maybe they'll send me the one from this year. Maybe they'll send me a code for it. <laughs> my Archmage build. Did they nerf the spammy auto attacks in this class? No. Gunslinger is good DPS with poor gameplay, even more than normal, <laughs> and lag spikes break you up. Oh yeah, SSOT had that problem too. Uh, back in the, I don't know if it still does, but I remember back when you were using SSOT when that class like first came out, the lag would like ruin your dot rotation, and then it would like, uh, it made that class kind of like, it was the worst part about that class was the lag. I like less now, so I could probably use this SOT better than I, I could back then, but... Yeah. Did I get Archon naturally? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't wail for it, no. Just got it from member, uh, keys. Over time. If that's what you mean by naturally. <laughs> I had membership in this game for a long time. I don't have membership now. I, I don't really keep active membership. Last time I bought membership was October for the, uh... I bought three months of membership in October and it ran out. And I haven't bought since. And it's March, so... I don't really keep active membership on my account anymore because it's not worth it. It's not... There's not any benefits for membership in this game. How many months? I mean, you only get like, what, two keys a month? So I don't know. I don't know. I just had membership. I just used my keys over the span of years. I don't know. I had Dark Box and Dark Key from back when the uh, Depths Enhancement was a reward for it. So I had it for years before they 
brought out our, our, the enhancement, right? Before this enhancement released, I already had Dark Box and Key for years. There used to be an enhancement you could put onto your class. Called Depths. D-E-P-T-H-S. But that was capped at level 65. And they never upped it when they upped the level cap. And yeah, they finally added another reward for that. Like, five years later. It's funny how the biggest content creator in AQ still has to pay for mem and chess. Yeah, I don't really get any special treatment at all. At all. You didn't even get a free calendar class this year. So. You don't really get much. There's not a lot of perks. <laughs> Some some games some devs will, will go crazy like, uh, for example I don't know Fortnite like if there's a skin they'll give like content creator skins early. Uh, you get the revenue from the creator codes. You get all sorts of stuff. They'll send them gifts all the time. I mean of course that's like a massive game with millions of revenue and stuff. But there's other MMOs I see like uh Fallout seventy six for example. That's like a smaller MMO. And uh, I know the content creators in that have codes for the merch shop. So, you know, Bethesda is a merch shop. All the content creators for that, they all have uh, their own codes that you can use on the merch shop. If you remember buying any real life, like, Fallout merch or anything from any of the Bethesda games. They all have uh, creator codes for that. Uh, I don't know. Tons of games do stuff like that. A doesn't really do anything for it. How do people get demo classes? Uh, they play when the demo for the class is, hap is happening. It's a rare item just like anything else. Just like any other rare item. Membership in general is a joke. Yeah. My idea for membership is I I wish they would change it. So when you have an act, active membership, any you know how like okay, so, so for example, when you look at the rare shop, right? You see how like this is a member only item, right? So if I had an active membership right now, I could buy this and it goes onto my account. But it's not member locked. You don't need an active membership to equip it. It was a perk of having the membership when this was released. That was a perk. And you got to keep it forever and you didn't need a membership to use it afterwards. That would add an actual value to having a membership. In my eyes. Like I think in my opinion that would make the membership worth it way more than having to purchase like... Because, like, imagine there was a few items in the shop right now that you need a membership to have. Like, imagine, like, these were armors you wanted. Like, these two armors. Imagine you really wanted both of these. You're like, um, oh, I can get a month of membership. You know, I could spend 10 bucks or whatever it is on a month of membership and get these armors that are member only for that month. And they could have exclusive armors that are only member only for that month as well. Or exclusive items that are member only and you can only get them if you have a membership like they don't have to be duplicates of AC ones like they could be specifically their own member only thing as like a perk of having the membership for that month I I think that would be a way better system than what they do now I feel like that would incentivize more people to be a member than what they're currently doing where you have to like pay to equip member items I think that's kind of lame it's actually it's super lame like i i really like i'm not i'm not paying money to be invisible monthly 
Like, no thanks. Like Red Riding Hood? Yeah, exactly. Like Red Riding Hood. Or the Dragon Blade. Yeah, there's items in the game that are like that, right? There's items in game that require membership but aren't member items. They need to make all the member items like that. That'd be big. That'd be big. That would be huge. I think they should really strongly consider that for uh, AQ Infinity. Which naval commander is your favorite? I actually do have a favorite. I don't remember its name, but it's in my inventory. Not that one. That one's one of my favorites, but... Onyx. <laughs> yes, I'm boring like that. The all-black naval commander is my favorite one. Yeah, this one's my favorite one. Not only because of the armor, but if you look at the... Uh... The face on the armor... It's actually, like, smiling. Every other naval face is, like, upset for some reason. Probably because they're a pirate, and being a pirate sucks, but... See, there's a shed. Okay, this one's smiling as well, but... The edgy navel? Yeah, something like that. That would be losing money? I think they would gain money by doing that, not lose money. Do you think they'd actually lose active members if they removed having to use, have a membership to use certain items? I don't think they would. I think they gain active members every month by uh, having it as a perk that you get to keep the items when you're not a member. I think people would be more picky on when they are a member though. Which might... I don't know. But I feel like if they were keeping the, uh, keeping the member items flowing. They'd be keeping members. Maybe they like it how it is where it's like no effort. Just you need a membership to... But as someone that buys membership, I'm not buying membership to use items. I would buy membership if it actually had benefits every month. I don't get anything from buying membership in AQ. I get nothing from buying a membership in AQ right now. Equipping an item is not appealing to me because I have tons of other items that don't need membership. I'm not going to pay real money just to equip a few fictional items. If they were doing actual, like, better perks for the membership, it would give you actual reason to buy a membership. I think they gain members. I think they gain paying members if they actually did that. You'd buy a membership once, get all the items you want, and buy it again in three years. No, you wouldn't. Because there'd be three years where you're not getting the member items of the merch out of the rare shop. You'd be going for three years with missing every single member rare, and those wouldn't be coming back. 
Like imagine they have items that you need a membership. Like there's no, it's not an AC duplicate. Like it's a member only item. In the shop and it's rare. So you need a membership for the month that it's in the shop. If you don't get it, then it's gone forever. Like that FOMO stuff. You would buy, you'd buy a month of membership to get that item that month. And then next month, there's another item that comes out in the four four updates they do that month, and you're like, oh, that's your membership to get that. Oh. What about a battle pass? I think a battle pass would work in this game. I'm not really too... I wouldn't be really too excited about it, but... It would be a change of pace, you know? This game could use a change of pace. I, I think... I think doing battle pass... I think doing a... Not spamming them, but I think if they did like one... Okay. How about this? What if they did one battle pass a year in the summer, and instead of a summer 10k chest, they did a summer battle pass? And all the items that were supposed to be in the 10k chest uh, would go into the battle pass along with like maybe some other stuff like you can get some XP boost. Uh, all the others like maybe some other like random junk you can get in there like maybe some like Nolgath regiments or some like just some other extra garbage you know that, that they throw in the battle passes. And then once a year in the summer they do a summer battle pass and has a bunch of like summer themed junk in it and all that. And every year people can look forward to that and then you can like grind it out. It takes like normal XP to grind, or you can like pay for the tiers with the ACs like you can in other games. And if you complete the pass, you get your ACs back, right? Plus the little extra. It's like, say it's like 2,000 ACs for the battle pass. And then if you complete it, you get 2,400 ACs back for finishing it. If you go all the way to the max tier. And you can buy the tiers if you want because you know some whales would right like they, they'd spam right through it <clears throat> i think that'd be cool if they did like one a year i mean they're doing rare items anyway like they're already doing the fomo stuff why not why not could be an interesting change up Battle Pass sounds vile. I mean, it's not anything different than what they're already doing. It would just add a little bit of grinding for the items and make back a little bit of uh, the ACs. It actually wouldn't be vile. It would actually be good for the uh, players that were on a budget more, to be honest. Like, the people that are playing but don't have like tons of money to spend on the game, it'd be good for them because if they spend the ACs on the pass, they could get the ACs back so they wouldn't be losing any in-game currency so they could spend on something else afterwards if they completed it and it also gives them something to do in the game right gives them a reason to like grind some xp or maybe like do the quest like maybe they have like battle pass quests or something who knows but might give them a reason to do that or whatever they, whatever he decides to make it wouldn't be the worst move for the game They had to make the 10k chest and the gotcha systems, I think I'd actually quit the game at that point. Or at least I wouldn't be spending on... I would not be spending on chests at all at that point. An item would have to be absolutely phenomenal for me to be doing gotcha pulls for it. Wheel of Doom has got gotcha. Yeah, but you can do member spins. I've, I maybe bought a few spins on the Wheel of Doom when it first came out. Like, when it first returned, like, way back. But I, I haven't spent any significant amount of ACs actually spinning the wheel. I've only done, like, the, the free spins that you get when you, uh... Uh, when you buy membership in ACs, they give you spins and uh, just having membership every day. Doing that. 
Yeah, you see that tweet I, I made the other day, that Reddit post? The guy who spent 100k ACs in the week long <laughs> too. Uh, yeah, that's definitely gotcha, man. Only reason by member at the moment is to get certain items for collections. I mean, the only actual reason I have membership right now is if you want to farm stuff faster for certain farms. That's like the only actual viable thing you can do with a membership. Why do we have a bathtub in the living room? The bathtub is a reference. The bathtub with the, the pizza on the floor next to it is a reference. I don't know why it's in there. I don't know. I don't really have a bathroom in my house. Do I know anything about the problem with my inventory class? Uh, it's a staff only class. You got an outhouse? Can you buy a house, an outhouse, house item? Speaking of house items, let's uh, let's get the one from the. So we're not doing anything. Let's. That house item is pretty cool. It looks laggy though, doesn't it? Dark Maca and Dage recruit. Body rare. All right. This new quest pet. For a wall item. Wow, okay. <laughs> Jesus. This thing go on my wall. It doesn't even fit on my wall. Okay, there we go. Save room. Done. That is massive. Yeah, we got an Indiana Jones looking <laughs> doorway now. Can you click on it? Uh, I think I think you can. Yeah, I think you can. I think it stopped, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's the same as the cape, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same as the cape. Is it max one or six? That is a good question, I guess. Uh, wall item. It doesn't say here. Gotta go to shop, right? Oh, wait, no. Can't you just click on it in the thing? Where do you find out? I don't know. It's probably one, I'd imagine. It's probably in the shop. I spent three hours trying to find it. Oh yeah, it's out of six. 
That's crazy. You have six of these. More gear next week. <laughs> Elena on Twitter said more gear next week. Try to look on Twitter, see if there's a. Any other information? Don't think so. Just, uh, okay, so. Hey, it's crazy. There's another week. They've been doing three weeks constantly now, right? It seems like it's a new norm. Has there been a chest that hasn't been three weeks recently? Do I listen to Animal Crossing background music off stream as well? <laughs> no. My playlist is like pop smoke mixed with like 90s hip hop mixed with like uh like the soundtrack to the Cyberpunk 2077 uh with some like Fallout music mixed in mixed with like some random other music like it's like some rock from like 70s 80s 90s rock uh a bit of like uh like yeah, my my actual playlist I listen to is very varied. It's a lot of variation in it, and it's uh, yeah nothing like what I listen to on stream. <clears throat> Surely the third week of updates for the chest will save it. Nobody listens to Yeet. I don't even know what Yeet is. So, oh, you say we can, like throw something? Turn up that pop smoke when <laughs> listening to this non musical music. I cannot play pop smoke on my YouTube live stream. I think I have the license to, to his songs. Organized playlist. We have time to organize playlist. Yeah, my playlist is all just random music I like, which is fun. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't like. I would. Uh, I would not have liked it if, it, if I didn't want to hear it. Tell them to fix the shading. The shading on what? The Dage Pack. <laughs> well, you want all the shading in the 10 KHS to be fixed? Yeah, okay. Hey, good luck, man.
Huh. Anyway, shit. Sure. Call it there. Clearly, the shading is the biggest issue with the 10k. I don't think it is. Look at all the people evaporate from my house when I said that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thanks for today, guys. Leave a like on the stream if you like the subscribe channel and all that. And uh, you're gonna get Jetta GLI. Uh, check the t uh, check the turbo on it. Eh? I had a Jetta for a while. All right, it was a TDI a turbo diesel. I don't know if the GLI the turbos will go out on them uh, around like. 200,000 kilometers pretty consistently check that in the timing belts too timing belts go go out around the same time um thanks for tuning in really like on the stream like subscribe channel if you're not already i'll see you guys all in the next one and uh yeah thanks for watching have a good one have a great weekend uh, there'll be uploads on the channel, but drops and all that stuff. Hopefully, uh, Sunday is St. Patrick's Day, so hopefully there's, they're putting out some, uh, you know, some four-leaf clover gear. We'll see some of that, hopefully. Uh, see you then. And, uh, yeah, check out the channel for this weekend. There'll be uploads. And thanks for watching, and have a good one. Thanks for all the support. Thanks to all the members, all that. Peace.